hey everybody welcome to another video I am just now getting back into the swing of things so I thought today would be a good day to open up my new sketch box I got and I wanted to share that with you uh, first of all because it's fun second of all uh, I did not realize I thought that when you signed up for like uh, sketchbox or any one of those uh, subscription boxes that it was all just random items that the company picks and sends to you which you know can be hit or miss so I really haven't uh, delved into that too much but now um, sketchbox has something called artist choice and I don't know I may be the last one to learn about this but uh, this is where you can actually pick uh, the items that are sent to you and you also have three levels of or I guess three tiers that you can choose from so you can do five items that you pick uh, for $19.99 and these are monthly uh, you can skip a month or reschedule which I find very nice uh, also, then the five items, then you have seven items, $29.99. This one includes a little bit higher value items, like you may get some Copic products in there. Um, and then they have one for 10 items, $39.99. Uh, this is the one that I get. And it also includes Copic, which, you know, uh, you may or may not be interested in. But it also has full sets of things. And when you get a full set, like if you get a set of, let's say, three pens or three markers, that counts as one item. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so I can't wait to see what's in my box. I did pick these, but it's been a few minutes, so I can't remember what all I got. Um, and this is also pretty cool that you can uh, tag hashtag sketchbox on your social media and um, I guess apply to have your artwork displayed on the boxes which is pretty cool so I did buy these myself but I do um, the company did uh, send me a request they wanted me to uh, be an ambassador so I just I do now have a little uh, storefront with them so where I pick my favorite items and you guys can go check that out if you like I do earn a small commission uh, from anything that you might buy from there okay now this is something I'm really excited about these are uh, little dot pens and let me get a little scratch piece of paper here. Uh, I thought these were super cool for, you know, when you go to put dots on your artwork, like these are already in the right shape and they're supposed to just make a round circle. Except they're child proof and I don't know how to get in them. Now, these colors were curated by them, so I didn't get to pick the colors. It was a three-color set. It looks like, ooh, one is metallic silver. That's going to get used. Pretty blue color. Blue Bonnet is the name. And this one is denim. So cool. So one side is just like a little... Oh, that's pretty colored. Scribbly, uh, just a little fine point. Kind of your standard pen. And then let's check this out. See, I don't know if you can see the end of these. It's just this nice little round shape. Huh. So you can do, let's see, small dots. Press a little bit harder. Look at that. 
and they just dry perfectly round. Love that. Ooh, I gotta do the metallic one, y'all. That is going to be useful. I can tell. Love that, because I always love adding little dots in my artwork. Fun, fun. What else is in here? Oh yeah. I picked this before I saw there was a pack of three and this one was a different color. This is platinum, which is a gray. So now I have, well, that's a light gray. I like that. So we have light gray that's non-metallic and then I also have metallic. That's so cool. Love that. All right. Oh yeah, got a Princeton Select Angle Brush, it's an ang angular shader brush. That's going to be really helpful for lines. These are great for lines. And then uh, just lots of different shapes. These I'm excited about. These are watercolor powders. Let's see. Did I just get one? No. I got three. Pretty light. Color Sparks from uh, TCW, which I think is the Crafters Workshop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Bougain Via, Olive, and Wisteria. Oh, we're going to get into those in just a minute. Here is a watercolor book, Hannah Mule watercolor book. So we are going to open this up and check it out. These are watercolor concentrated dye based liquid watercolor. This is great. And see, there's three in here, and this counts as one item. Love it. Magenta, violet, and leaf green. Those are going to be fun, fun. Oh, I got this little guy. You can't tell from looking at it. It's got the lid on. Oh, here's something extra. Oh, I bet that's to clean it out. Um, this little guy is one of those little ink pens. And it has a little well in here, and you could drop any kind of ink or liquid in there, and then you'll get a smooth, uh, smooth line, you know, without having to dip into stuff. So I thought this would be a fun way to add um, little extra marks and writing and such, maybe with the same thing that you've painted with. And then, of course, they have the instructions sticker and then uh oh i got another water brush i liked this one because it was um a detail tip i have a few different watercolor brushes but this one has a fine tip on it which i thought was pretty good for getting into tight spaces and these are always good for travel is that got bristles? Y'all, my eyes are getting so bad. I can't tell if that's bristles or I think it might just be, uh, let me get something wet. Okay, it is bristles. It just had some glue in there. Yeah, that's great. That's a super, super fine, t fine tip. Love that. Now, you could always get really creative and, you know, get more than one of these, get a package and experiment, which we might do some of that, putting some of your watercolor liquid inside and make your own watercolor pen. 
All right, well, let me get all this stuff out and we'll play with it here in just a sec. All right, I got us a little bit of water and a couple of brushes and some paper. So let's just have a little fun. I wanna play with these powders. These, I know I'm gonna love them because I love um, like those magicals kind of powders and this kind of reminds me of that. I think that this is Wisteria. I can already tell this can be a beautiful color. I'm just going to kind of sample the little colors here. Some were kind of loose on the outside. All right, that's Wisteria. This is Olive, which looks orange. Olive is orange? Huh. Maybe it turns green with water? <laughs> okay, and this is the word I cannot pronounce, Bougainvillea. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, that looks red. So... Let's wet these and just see what we got. Oh, it does turn. That is too cool. Wow. <gasps> Look at that. Look at those colors, guys. Oh my goodness. I love that. Love, love. Let's try the wisteria. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. These are good floral colors. Oh, and look at the olive. See, it's like it has little different uh, colors of powders in them. And then when you mix them together, you get your final color. So I can see like it maybe having some variation in there, which is gonna be really cool looking. Okay, just wanted to see what those looked like. All right, let me turn this around. And I'm just going to experiment to see what these colors. Now, these are the watercolor uh, liquid. And this is magenta. That's pretty. Leaf green. Probably should shake them up, I imagine. Pretty. That's kind of similar to the olive. Of course, they might look different, you know, when they dry. Hmm, that's pretty vivid. That violet. Oof, looky there. Vivid. That definitely needs water. Just curious as to what these things look like where I kind of put them over here on a bigger piece of paper. Not that we're making any fantastic piece of art today. Looky there, that's kind of close to that one too. Very interesting. So, now you kind of know what those look like, in case you were interested. 
All right. So I think. Let's see. Definitely love. I'm going to do something with these powders. I love the olive and that wisteria. Oh, they look so good. All right. So I think what I'm going to do. kind of just put some water out paper this is a uh, Canson paper which I have grown to pretty much despise but it's good since I have it I'm gonna use it to um, you know swatch with and experiment with all right Oh, nice. Look at how that just blooms and runs. And because we sprayed the water on and didn't put a smooth coat, you're going to get like a really varied um, reaction. You know, it won't be smooth. This is just amazing. And see, then. I don't want a brush. Let me take uh, like a little, maybe I'll use the back end of the brush. Just want to kind of push some stuff around. Oh, I got it. We use one of these air blowers. That is really cool. Look at that. And see, you can kind of see there's a little red, a little purple, kind of a pinky purple. That is so interesting. All right, that's still wet there. Let's use our olive. looks like orange oh wow check that out I sure hope that turns out good on camera wow so there's orange and blue and a green and maybe kind of a yellow let's add a little more water to it oh check it out Y'all, I just love playing with art supplies. Like, it's so fun. Just relaxing, no pressure. Oh, where's my... That is so cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be loving this. Oh, now look. I bet even, uh-oh, after they dry, I bet you can still reactivate them. I would think. If you guys have these, let me know uh, in the comments. Like, what do you think about them? Do you love them? Looks like so much fun. So I, I'm definitely going to be adding these to maybe my next couple of videos because these are way too fun. So you could also just like mix them in a uh, in your little uh, dish. And just mix them with water and use them solid. But this to me is, uh, I like the very organic feel of how it just does whatever the heck it wants to do. Now we may get some brown in here with kind of red and green. I'm scared to really squeeze it. 
just kind of shaking it out there. That just, that's a really bright pink. And then you can kind of let them run. So look for it. I'm kind of liking this little uh, desaturated color that's coming out here. These are mixing. That's really fun. Could be a crazy, crazy background. All right, should we mix? This is so cool. All right, I'm going to add a little water on here. Just to see what happens. Love the little splashy look. Oh, this paper always buckles so bad. Now these three are the um, the liquid watercolors. Oh, yeah, looky there. Those are super reactive even after they're mostly dry. So that's cool. So, could probably, I wish they had more colors. I need to set something heavy on that. Wonder if, I don't know, maybe the Crafters Workshop, I'll have to check their um, website and see if there's more colors. So if you could get like primary colors you could go to town mixing them. All right, let's see. Let's do these ones dry. We do magenta here. Oh, let's be testing tornado sirens. Hopefully that doesn't pick up on camera. The weather has been a little crazy lately. Tis the season, at least in Texas. Let's see, I'll make sure I'm getting all this on video. Love how it feathers out like that. Mm -hmm. That did kind of mix. That's going to actually be a really pretty color. Like a D set, almost like a wine color. And I think it was the pink and the. Um, that, I love that color. See what happens when you experiment? Stuff runs together and does all these unexpected things. See, we're getting a little mix of something in there. Let's I'm gonna do a couple of drops. This would be fun to do uh, salt on. All right, let's do some green. And the purple up there, purple, purple. was probably cans and paper is probably not the best oh not the best to be adding a bunch of water to because it buckles so bad we 
These seem to stay in place a little better. Yeah, like they, these, uh, the liquid watercolors don't move, it seems like, as much as the powders. I don't know. If I only picked one over the other, I think that I would do the powdered uh, because there's just so much variation that you get with those. Almost got like an orangey color over here. Yeah, that's so cool. Let's, I'm going to do a little more of the, let's do some more of that wisteria. Over here. A little over there. Who needs a brush? Ooh, that is very nifty. That is just so cool. The craziest piece of background paper ever. Nothing else. These are just fun to play with, for sure. But I really like those powders. Mm. I like them. Bunches. That is just wild. All right, you guys. Hope you enjoyed us playing a little bit today. Got more videos in the works. Thanks so much for all the likes, subscribes, and shares. I appreciate them greatly. And uh, don't forget to join us over on the Facebook group. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, y'all.